Here's our master of ceremonies and hopes of the night of the tonight show, Jimmy Fallon. Welcome aboard the world famous studio tour. I know what you're thinking. Why the tux? Well, we're celebrating our 60th anniversary. That's right, 60 years of glitz, glamour, and our own great white shark. As we celebrate our diamond anniversary today, we'll pay tribute to Universal's past and take you behind the scenes to discover why this studio tour is world famous. So whether this is your first visit or your 60th, get ready for fun, excitement, and an experience like no other. Thank you, Jimmy. On March 15th, 2015, our founder, Carl Lovelink, invited the public to the studio to watch silent movies being made. The robot. Robot. Marvel at the new technology and Broadway learning. But with the invention of sound and the need for quiet on the set, the original I'm very Robin excited. Tour, Are you? In yeah. the 1960s, under the leadership of company chairman Lou Wasserman and executives Al Dorskin and Jay Stein, the idea of reviving a tour of the studio returned when the Grey Line bus tours originating in Hollywood made a stop at our gates. On July 15, 1964, the first of our right away Candy Shrine glamour trains took 67 passengers on a two-hour driving tour of the Universal lot and the World Famous Studio Tour was born. We started with two drivers, two guides, and one ticket seller working out of a trailer on Lincolnshire Boulevard. From there, the studios were expanded with fantastic, one-of-a-kind Hollywood elements like the Burning House and the Rock Slam, which were in this area of the lot back in the 70s and 80s. Today, you're on board our newest version of the tour vehicle, the Electric Tram, as we continue our commitment to creating a zero emission studio tour fleet. Electric trams get their power from wireless inductive charging pads, just like the one for your cell phone. Oh, Fast and furious. And like an electric car, we have regenerative braking every time we go downhill during this tour. We will be building a charge. We're no strangers to innovation during when it comes to our top vehicles. We started with the Glamour Trains in 1964 and 1983. We upgraded to Super Dreams, allowing us to carry more guests and experience more thrills. In 2000, we had an onboard video turning the tram into a movie theater on wheels. Let's see where the studios where will take us today. And we start off our tour by heading into the front lot. Where we're driving in between the studio and the theme park. On your right is Super Nintendo World, Hope to Mario and Luigi, the stars of our biggest film in 2023, the Super Mario Brothers movie. This is also where the studio tour guests once had a chance to explore facets of Hollywood, not accessible to the public before 1964. In the 60s and 70s, they could visit the dressing room of comedy legend Lucille Ball, stumble in the office of Oscar winning costume designer Edith Head, or drive through the prop warehouse on the trail. By the 1980s, this was home to the preview center, a popular stop on the tour that included the special effects stage. Now there is a show that uses three of our front lot sound stages for just one show. That show is Bel Air. It's a modern retelling of the Fresh Prince of Bel Air on Peacock, a streaming service for NBC and Universal content. There's the next 60th anniversary guest from our Peacock series, Bel Air, Jabari Banks, and Ollie Charlton. We're leaving the theme park behind and entering the front lot where real Hollywood magic is made. Now, well inside the sound stages that surrounds us, we can create any kind of environment the script demands. For the past 60 years, studio tour visitors have driven right by these buildings, and inside these walls, the sets from your favorite TV shows and movies have transported audiences anywhere the imagination can take you. Even to a palatial mansion in Bel Air. When we filmed Bel Air, we love coming out of the sound stages and seeing the trams filled with excited guests as they drive by. So, uh, keep an eye out. You'll never know who or what you'll see on the studio tour. Bel Air's finishing up their third season. We can stream now, seasons one and two. On Peacock. Other streaming shows on Peacock that have used our, our sound stages, especially the ones off to the right performing, have been... There's Texas Chainsaw uh, Massacre. Shows like Based on Two Stories, starring Kaylee Coco and Chris Messina. The show Killing is starring Craig Robinson. And the show Quantum Leap. This is the reboot continuation of the original series. This series stars Raven Lee. All of those uh, have filmed here in the past and now we streamed on Peacock. In stage 19, on the right, we filmed a scene from the Oscar award winning film Oppenheimer, the Oval Office scene in there, starring two Oscar winners, Rob Downey Jr. and Gary Oldsman. We can now stream Oppenheimer on Peacock. You can also stream Ted on Peacock, he's over there wishing us uh, cheers to 60 years on the left. 
Now he's got his own show on Peacock based off of the movies of the same name starring Seth MacFarlane.